Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great today. I'm talking about this product here from Sennheiser. This is the XS wireless digital pedal board setup. It is super cool. I've owned quite a few wireless guitar systems and I think this might be my favorite overall. Check it out. So like I said in the intro, I just got this new wireless setup and I'm super excited to check it out. Um, I'm gonna do an unboxing of it, show you what's coming in the box. This is gonna be an awesome addition to my pedal board and uh, for actually a really cool reason and that is because it's not just a wireless system but it's also a tuner. And I'll tell you why that's such a big deal to me uh, as I get further in the video. But let's go to the unboxing here. By the way, if you like this video, uh, please hit a thumbs up. You know, it just kind of helps the rankings and all that kind of stuff on my channel. Anyway, let's get into the unboxing of it here with my overhead cam. So let's see what comes in the box. We've got this, the unit here, this was going to go basically into your guitar and then it's got a clip that goes onto your uh, strap as well. It's got a USB-C uh, like double ended connector here. The unit itself, I'm gonna just open this up. This thing is really, really cool. It is high quality too, I'm telling you. Like a lot of times when you do uh, a product review, you can just kind of see that it's kind of cheaper materials. This just actually is very, very nice uh, looking and feeling product so far. USB to USB-C cable here. It's got an extension, which actually is super cool. This is the unit that goes into your guitar. And so a lot of times uh, wireless systems will just, they're like, hey, take this and stick it into your guitar. I may not want this dangling off of my guitar for a couple of reasons. I don't want it to come loose um, and accidentally hit it. But also I want to be able to, to kind of look a little bit more professional on stage. And that's why I love this right here. So I can actually plug this into my in, into the unit and then put this on the uh, strap. And then this just comes around and plugs into my guitar. One interesting thing about this pedal board is on the bottom, it's got these, these two threads here. And it says right here, 5M times 10. And so that's the kind of screw that it's going to be using for this. But you could actually drill holes into your pedal board and mount this to it. It is a little bit of, not a super heavy pedal, but it's not super light either. It has this, this template that you can put on your pedal board and screw holes and then mount it with this. I think that's actually a pretty cool idea. You're gonna plug in your guitar here on this guy and then it's going to wirelessly transmit it to this unit. There's no input on here. There's no actual uh, way to plug a guitar into this, obviously, because it's the wireless unit but then your outputs are gonna be uh, coming out of here unbalanced, quarter inch. And then what's great is I can use this with an acoustic guitar and just come straight out of this with the XLR, um, which, is, which is very nice. Um, then it's got the USB-C here and the, the nine volt jack there. Looks like we have power for anywhere in the world that you're going, okay? So if you're going to Europe, uh, you're good, yeah. It looks like so they just pre-ship this with every uh, power supply that you m may need to have an adapter for, which is nice. And I'm gonna just test out the unit before I put it on my, on my power supply. All right, so I've got the unit here, just hook, plugged up, not to anything yet. All right, now I'm gonna hook it into this right here using the balanced XLRs. And I'm just going into my DAW here. This side here, I'm gonna power it on. Okay, it powered it on. And let me see if it finds itself. It did, it just found itself right there. Green, green, we're good to go, awesome. I'm gonna hook this up to my strap. So you can kind of see it on there like that. And then this is gonna come over here. I could probably work with this and make it come up a little bit higher so it's not dangling but that's what it's going to be looking like right there and let's see what happens okay i'm going to press this sweet goes into tuner mode looks like i need to tune a little bit 
Okay, it looks like it goes red here when it's when it's in tune. All right, let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna stand up and walk around a little bit too. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's it's around there right there like that. One thing that I do like about it is this thing can slide off, which is awesome. It might be kind of hard to tell being in, in the studio and just listening through the, the monitors here, but I don't hear any problems whatsoever, any dropouts there. Went into the other room. Um, the st studio is not very big. Uh, I think it's 16 feet long and I'm about halfway part point, so I could only get about eight feet. And so I went to the other room and we'll see. You'll probably be able to know more than me because I haven't heard the, uh, the after yet. One thing I did want to test before I left is, is will this USB-C charge the unit um, or power the unit or do I have to use the, the nine volt? The reason is my pedal board, I have one of these Mission Engineering 529s and it's got a USB power out on it as well. I'd love to just be able to, to do this on here let's see what let's see what that does i'm gonna grab an old it's just an iphone charger here and i'm gonna unplug this plug in USB C. see what happens boom that's awesome that is awesome so you've got two options here you can do uh power this with a like a cell phone charger or you can power it with the uh a nine volt adapter that is a great that is really cool. That is a cool feature to have on a unit like this. I'm actually really impressed. So let me see. Yep, same functionality. Very, very cool. Sounds crystal clear. Let me test another feature of this too. It came with this USB-C to USB-C thing here. I wonder if that is a way that I could charge from this unit. So if I have my pedal board where this is plugged into this nine volt here, if I could plug the USB-C in also, and then let me slide this guy out. I'll plug it in here. All right, what happens when I plug this in? There it is, see that blinking red light? I think, I think that it's actually charging. Let me do that again. Let me see here, I'm gonna plug this into this USB, the one that's on my iPhone charger. And what happens there? Yeah. Red, 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 green. I wonder if it's saying green and that's fully charged. That is great because 
if you have this integrated into your pedal board uh, with the 9 volt here, then all you have to do is whenever you're done with playing is just take this, this cord out and then put it right next to it and plug it in. That's awesome. And that's cool that this is able to power uh, something else with the, the 5 volts coming out of here. That's a really, really cool uh, option to have. Um, so, man, they really they really thought through this product. You know, sometimes uh, you, you get a product and you go like, man, was that really thought through? And this is thought through on, on a real world uh, basis. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a different, uh, an, I'm going to do an additional review to this for uh, the purposes of putting it on my pedal board and hooking all that up and seeing how that works. And the reason why is because I want to be able to test this out again in a real world situation over a period of, of, of weeks, perhaps, just so that I'm, I'm giving a fully uh, tested review. Sometimes when you do a review, it's great to just kind of be in here and, and test it out and go, hey, it's awesome. But I, I have no uh, inclination that this is going to be anything other than exceeding my expectations. But I'm going to do another video in the future for this. But uh, man, it, it is a little bit on the, the more expensive side of the wireless unit. Well, not necessarily the more expensive side. It's not entry, entry level. There are some wireless units that are, you know, in the, uh, the 150 to $200 range that are decent units. This one is exceeding that. I really like the fact that this is not just a receiver, but it's also a tuner that has, that's a big deal to me because pedal board space is is limited for me um, I like to have small pedal boards also I really like the fact that there's not like an additional dongle hanging off the side of the your pedal board I, I'm gonna say if you have the money and you're looking for a, a pedal board setup for your wireless this is a great great option and I, I give my full recommendation on this like I said I'm gonna put this on my pedal board today and play around with it for, I don't know, a good two weeks, I'll say, uh, maybe a month. And then I'm going to come back and make another review of just the full thing, real world, um, real world test, basically, and see how this is done. But I love the idea of wireless, and I like this Sennheiser XS pedal board system. They really, I think they hit a home run with this. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please hit a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Kenneth Russell out. I'll see you in another video.